you created an imbalance through wanting to create a personal unified field. Because you're taking, and from that taking, you wanted to attract, so you attracted. To attract, you took out of other unified fields to create your own unified fields, and thus those unified fields had to collapse for you to have your personal unified field. Okay, that's basically what happens with one human being within this reality, within this existence that is walking and living as the attraction system, um, which is now manifested as living human beings as the law of attraction. And what happens in actuality within this existence, within this world, um, within the principle of the law of attraction, that for some to have, others will not have. And for you, for example, to realize or make into reality that desire, want, and need of having lots of money, um, building a total empire, you're going to have that equal to and one with the amount of people having nothing, with no money, so that you can have all of that through collapsing other people's and human beings' worlds. Now you have now you have a lot of people in this world walking the law of attraction, walking this attraction system manifestation as themselves. Um, creating, uh, manifesting and building their personal unified field, taking people from their allocation points within the unified field and their personal unified fields, collapsing unified fields so you can have and build and design and create your personal unified field. And there are lots and lots and lots of people that are currently living this system manifestation, creating, manifesting and designing the direct consequence of some people and other people having absolutely nothing <clears throat> that cannot exist or find an allocation point within the unified consciousness field because of and due to the law of balance. Because within the unified consciousness field, there is a set amount of designed allocation points. In other words, the world system of today can only handle so many people. All right? And if you're not one of those people, you have nothing because you're not supported by the world system. You're not supported by money. Um, so, for you to create a new allocation point, because remember, you're creating a total new unified field, a personal unified field. You're creating new allocation points, all right? So, for your personal unified field to have allocation points to lock human beings into you, as a unified field, other unified field connection points has to shut down. Okay? Because to balance out the total stability of the world system, um, because it can handle only so many people within its current design um, as how we've manifested it, <clears throat> Um, within you creating that one new allocation point lock of being into your personal unified field, other openings as allocation points within the greater unified field with other human beings' unified fields as their personal unified fields within this reality, within this existence, start shutting down and closing. And that's why, from a perspective, less and less and less and less people within this world, within this reality, within this existence can get a job, can get work. Because there are people within this reality, within this existence that are living and standing as this attraction system creating their own personal unified fields that are shutting down openings and possibilities for other human beings within this reality. So, within the greater scheme of things, what happens is total unified consciousness field parts within this world shut down. All right? Like total countries, where there are now countries of people that have absolutely nothing. Within the example of starvation and poverty, um, where they now have to depend on those that have to give them something to be able to survive and exist in this world, because they do not have allocation point 
within the world system, within this existence, because of human beings creating their personal unified fields for themselves, within the want, need, and desire of self-interest as money. Only thinking of and considering themselves in the pathway of success that what they want to attain to within this world, this reality, and this existence, believing that, but I want, what I want is what I want, and I'm going to get it. Not realizing the extensive nature of the consequences that exist within that, within this world. And it's, and it's extensive. Within how we are currently accepting and allowing ourselves to live, not realizing what it is that we're actually doing, and thus how each one of us is individually responsible for human beings within this world that currently have nothing and no one that support them, stand with them, um, have sustenance to be able to exist and survive in this world and to live and function practically and efficiently within this world, this existence, this reality that we all share. Because an individual... Uh, a select few want to make their wants, needs, and desires within this reality a personal utopia, and which cause, create, and manifest others to exist in a living, literal, physical, real hell. All right. So this is the system manifestation of the attraction system, and um, how it is that. We are individually responsible for how we are creating, manifesting, and designing this world, even though we are not directly, physically, at specific allocation points wherein beings are experiencing, for example, starvation, poverty, famine. All right. Thank you very much. This is Smith.